Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Panda's melt function. Similar to pivot table, melt is used to transform or reshape data. I have this Excel file here which contains the weather data of three different cities. Each of the columns here represents the temperature in that particular city. Now for your data analysis purpose, you might want to transform this into this other format where each of the row is day, city and temperature. And this could be useful based on what kind of analysis you want to do with your data. So I have launched a Jupyter Notebook here by running Jupyter Notebook command in my terminal. You don't need to necessarily use Jupyter Notebook. You can use IDE of your choice. Uh, you can uh, use idle or pycharm whatever you like it okay so i launched a notebook and i imported my csv into a data frame so my data frame looks like this and you guys are already familiar about this code so i don't need to probably talk about it now i'm gonna jump straight into melt function so the way you call melt is by using pandas module so you'll say pd dot melt and the argument that it takes is the first argument is your data frame now the second argument will be your id variables so id variables is basically the thing that you want on your x-axis so here uh, i want day to be there basically the column that you want to keep intact you don't want to transform that particular column that you will keep in idverse okay and when this will uh, return another data frame okay so i will just call it df1 and when i execute it i get my result you can see that now it transformed this particular data frame into a format where my cities are now actually inside my rows you can see that okay and once you have this data frame you can now do a bunch of things you can do like filter on top of it so you can do for example df1 let's say variable is equal to chicago if you do that you will only get Chicago's weather. So let's say if you want, you, if you have a huge data file and you want to filter down uh, your information uh, ba based on particular city, then you can do it easily once you perform the transformation using melt. Okay. All right. Now let me go back to our original uh, data frame. So here you can see that I have all the cities now one thing you might have noticed is the name of the columns are variable and value and these are like pretty boring column names actually they should be city and temperature and you can do that using another argument right now if you want to know all the arguments of melt function then just do pandas melt and that will take you to the documentation here now you can see that in meld, one of the arguments is variable name. So variable name and value name are the two arguments that we are going to use here. So I will come here and I'll say variable name equal to. So variable name is basically this guy here. Like what's the name of the variable and what's the value name. All right. So I will say city. And when I run it, you can see that now instead of variable, I have city here. Now, instead of value here, I want to have temperature for that. I will use value name equal to temperature. And there you go. All right. That was all I had about mail tutorial today. Uh, I have the Jupyter notebook uh, used in this tutorial in the video description below. So you can always copy it and play with it i highly recommend that whenever you are watching tutorial you also play with this course because doing coding uh, is the best way to learn it actually just by watching it you're not probably going to gain 
that much so i highly recommend you use this uh, notebook that i have and just play with it try it with some different csv and excel or whatever okay whatever data file you have with you all right so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in next tutorial